staring back at a decision by the Women's Tennis Association to immediately suspend all tournaments in China. The move comes in defense of Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai. Shuai alleged, or Peng, I should say, alleged sexual assault by a top Chinese government official and then disappeared for several weeks before appearing in a suspicious interview with the International Olympic Committee. Moments ago, China responded to the WTA's decision saying it firmly opposes any act that politicizes sports. I'm joined now by Patrick McEnroe. He's an ESPN tennis commentator, the former captain of the U.S. Davis Cup team, and the host of the Holding Court podcast. Patrick, great to see you. This could cost the WTA hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, seriously, hundreds of millions of dollars. So what do you make of this decision? Well, this was a gutsy decision, John, and this is absolutely going to cost the WTA a huge amount of money over the next 10 years. They were supposed to play the year-end championships and multiple other events in China over the course of the next decade. But they showed their gumption. They showed their moral, their morals. They showed that they were in this for the right reasons. Like, we need to know. Okay, now we seem to know, John, that Peng Shui is safe. She's alive. But do we know, is she sound? Is she sound of mind? And these videos, supposedly from the IOC, uh, and the reaction from them to us, that she's okay, don't worry about her, we can move on, we can brush this under the table. There are ex-athletes, Olympic athletes that understand pressure, and they spoke to punk. I mean, it is an absolute joke when I heard some of these interviews from people representing the IOC. There is no way that you can, that anybody can believe that that's reality. And the multiple Chinese experts that I've spoken to said, this is right out of the China playbook. And the IOC is totally complicit in their playbook. Let me, let me play some sound from Dick Pound, who's an International Olympic Committee member who was talking about that video. Consensus of all of those the people on the call was that she, she's fine and she's not, uh, She's not under any kind of coercion or, uh, or, or, or uh, you know, confinement. So he's buying it. Um, Patrick, what do you think the Olympics should do? What do you think other sports should do? Should they have the same courage or guts, as you called it, that the WTA has? Well, I believe they should. And by the way, I don't believe, John, that that means that we should never do business with China. I mean, we're all, we're all aware of what a huge cog China is in the economics of the world, okay, when it comes to sports as well. And certainly the IOC, the Olympics, is a huge event. We all know that I was lucky enough to be the captain of the team in 2004 in Athens. So I know what the Olympics is about. I know what a privilege it is to represent your country and certainly for Peng Shui as well. But this idea that you can't influence China at all, that we're just going to listen to everything they say and brush it under the table, I mean, the time has come for that to end. And the WTA... Huge credit to them. The NBA wouldn't do it. The IOC wouldn't do it. But the Women's Tennis Association has done it. And by the way, John, I believe that the ATP, that's the men's professional tour, should follow suit. They don't have as much on the table economically, but they have some huge events in China as well. It's time for them to pull the plug. Patrick McEnroe, I appreciate your input here. You should know that China apparently is so scared with what you have to say about this that they blacked out the feed of CNN to China during this segment. Underneath, we're showing the live feed that the people in China are seeing right now, color bars there. So they don't want China, the Chinese people, to hear what you have to say, Patrick, but we do.